to the Black Voice, a Fox 26 community affairs program addressing issues of particular interest to Houston's African-American community. Working with employers to investigate discrimination in the workplace. That's the job of one award-winning Houston-based human resources consulting firm. The S.J. Bastion Corporation, a 2000 Emerging 10 Award winner and a Houston 100 Award winner, is recognized as a national leader in fair employment practice investigation and com complaint management. Joining me now is Janet Bastion, President and CEO of S.J. Bastion Corporation. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. You recently testified before Congress. Tell me about some of the issues that came up during that time. Well, recently there was an opinion letter that was sent out by the FTC, Fair uh, Trade Commission, and I mean the Federal Trade Commission. And what the opinion letter said that is if you do an investigation related to discrimination and you use an outside party, impartial law firm, consulting firm, human resources firm, you would have to get permission from the person discriminating against you. And that basically was, was something unique to what I've ever heard of. And, and we got some clarification with some recent opinion letters. And the whole source of this information came from the fact that the FTC considered companies like mine, like law firms, a consumer reporting agency like Equifax. Mm -hmm. And basically, if you go out and you do an investigation, it's, they, they consider it like pulling a credit report. So if you complain against someone, fill me in on that, I mean, clarify that for me. Okay, if you complain against someone, you go to your employer and you tell your employer, I've been discriminated against. Right. You go to the EEOC, you file a complaint with the EEOC. The employer decides that I wanna do an investigation and I want to make sure that this is an impartial investigation. Mm -hmm. And I go outside and have a third party do the investigation. Under this opinion letter, which is not law by, it's, it's just an opinion letter, but it's been significant because a lot of people have paid attention to this. You must ask the permission of the person who you allege is discriminating against you before the investigation can start. You have to give their permission. Exactly. After the investigation is complete, and that's if they give you permission, you must then give them a copy of your report that with details of people you interviewed, uh, the pe person who's complaining about you, all the information related to the investigation. If this becomes law, I mean, how difficult do you think it will be for folks to come forward and say, hey, I have a complaint? How will this change? Uh, change things. Oh, this is the, the civil rights fight for 2000. I think it's going to change the whole workplace. I think employees are, are going to be concerned about coming forth. You're going to have workplace violence issues. You're going to have all kinds of issues related to this area. And, and that's, that's one of the things I talked to Congress about. I've also contacted Sheila Jackson Lee, who has been working with me somewhat in, in this area. A, a lot of the civil rights people uh, are, are appalled that this is happening. And I, it, it is a fight for 2000. And I think that the more we get it out there that this is an issue, I think people will become concerned that, that you know, the Supreme Court recently said, use impartial folks to investigate these discriminatory practices and as a part of that make certain that, that you make the workplace free of harassment and by doing that using that third party is, is one way of, of making that change. Well I know that we have some information for folks who want to contact you uh, to learn more about what it is you do and, and, and if they have complaints can they contact you as well? Well, we work for employers. Employers contact us and ask us specifically to investigate an issue. Okay. And with that, we will in turn talk to the employer and, and, and gather the facts so that the employer can look at a business decision to see if there's a discriminatory practice that they need to address. So as far as an employee complaining about discrimination, they should look at either going to the EEOC or, right. or working with right. their employer. The best route is if you can work through it in-house. All right. Well, thank okay. you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you. All righty.